Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. I'm still traveling, but I'm not going to leave you without your After Effects fix. Okay, today we're going to talk about the letter T, specifically this letter T right here in the timeline. Oh, I'm sure you've noticed it and maybe even clicked on it, but when you couldn't figure out what it was doing, you just ignored it. Oh, I know you so well, uh, but only because I was right there with you. Now, I could have handled this tutorial in one of several ways. For example, I could have started off by saying, Hello, boys and girls. It is I, your old furry pal, Aaron, once again. And today, we will learn about our new friend, the letter T. But I won't go that route because I don't want to insult your intelligence, and also I don't think that my voice box could handle that for too much longer. So let's just get into it. In essence, this letter T is the button for something called Preserve Transparency, which, when activated, tells the layer to get its transparency from the layers below itself. So for example, if I have this text and this circular layer behind it moving along a path, when I activate the Preserve Transparency button for the text layer, as you can see, this makes the text appear only where the circle passes behind it. Now you might be thinking that this is basically a reverse mat one layer borrowing transparency from another layer, but in the reverse direction, right? But take note of several differences. For starters, unlike track mats, the layer whose transparency is being borrowed, and that's our circle here, must be visible or it doesn't work. With track mats, the opposite is true. Layers must be invisible for them to give their transparency to the layer below it. Otherwise, the mat blocks the layer. Also, and this is key, you can use more than one layer to create the transparency. So in this animation, I have two circles behind the text, and both are giving it their transparency. In mats, only one layer can be used at a time. Now, I do want to point out that if you use this tool, every single layer behind the one using Preserve Transparency will contribute to the layer's opacity. So that means that if you want any elements behind this text but not lending their transparency to it, you'll need to take this composition and nest it into a new one, as I've covered in my tutorial on nesting and pre-composing. Hopefully, you've picked up a new tip that'll help you in the work that you do. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Today's tutorial was sponsored by the letter T.